He does look quite beautiful. Yes, he does. Yeah. Dever, definitely don't want to mess with those stingrays, though, nope. Chris. Definitely don't want to mess with nope. this weather either this morning. It's going to be a messy Tuesday morning drive. Let's give you another view of the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Same thing we said all morning long. East of I-65 here in Huntsville, northeast Alabama. That's where we've had that several rounds now of heavy rain and thunderstorms and we're going to watch that threat for ponding on the roadways and flash flooding possibly through the rest of our morning commute. Let's start things off here in the Huntsville Metro. Still watching this one thunderstorm in North Huntsville. Just moved through Tony and Harvest. It's about to go through Meridianville, close to the A&M campus as well. The Weather Service was watching the storm for some of those wind gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour, but I will say this storm has weakened just a little bit over the last few minutes. We'll still keep a close eye on it though. Elsewhere in Madison County, moderate to at times heavy rainfall continues in Hampton Cove, Owens Crossroads, up towards Cecil Ashburn, Jones Valley, and the South Parkway as well. Let's go to Western Jackson County. Another heavy thunderstorm I'm tracking for you. This is along 72 to the west of Scottsboro. So Paint Rock, Woodville, Swearingen, and Marshall County in particular. Very heavy rain, a good bit of lightning also down towards Grant as well. And then finally we go down towards DeKalb County. We were watching this thunderstorm that had developed behind the initial round of storms near Albertville. Looks like it has weakened just a smidge, but still very heavy rainfall in Albertville, Boaz, Crossville, and Geraldine and Collinsville in Marshall and DeKalb counties this morning. Bottom line, just give yourself plenty of time heading out the door. Right now on the Way 31 Skycam Network, if you're not seeing storms, you're seeing mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-70s wherever you are. We'll get a bit of a break in the showers and storms later on this morning, and then we'll have that chance for more of those hidden miss storms developing this afternoon. In between those rounds of storms, despite the cloud cover, we'll warm up pretty quickly. Our forecast highs in the upper 80s, maybe touching that 90 degree mark later on today. We're not expecting much in the way of severe weather this morning or this afternoon, but as we have already seen this morning and as we will likely see this afternoon, storms could produce heavy rain, a good bit of lightning. That's in the medium risk category, and we'll have that low end chance for some of those wind gusts around 40, maybe 50 miles per hour. Again, the severe risk is low, but of course, we'll keep an eye on these storms for you all day. Here we go with future radar 8 o'clock this morning. The storms we're seeing right now are starting to move out of our coverage area, and then we'll turn our attention to northwest Alabama to see if any storms can redevelop around lunchtime. Should those storms redevelop, they'll move eastward across our coverage areas. We go through Tuesday afternoon. We'll dry things out this evening. Maybe a few showers early on your Wednesday morning. Nothing as heavy as we're seeing right now. And then we'll start to dry things out just a little bit as we get towards Wednesday afternoon, which means we turn our attention to the heat. Dangerous heat, unfortunately. New this morning, we have a heat advisory in effect for most of North Alabama. This is for tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's where we'll have those feels like temperatures in the triple digits. It's yet again feeling like 105 in some spots. We'll do it all over again Thursday, then Friday and heading into your weekend as well. Another extended stretch of dangerous heat is on the way. I have a good feeling that we'll have more heat advisories, maybe excessive heat warnings issued beyond Wednesday as well. But as you look at the seven day forecast, again, our main focus this morning is that heavy rain and thunderstorm potential. Take it slow on the roads and then we start to dry things out with those highs of the upper 90s close to 100 once we get past Wednesday. Chris. All right.